Ask your spectator to think of any card. Any card is possible, no force. Then the spectator must look for his card in the deck. For example, you can assume that he's thinking to this card, okay? Then the spectator can show the top card and the performer can shuffle the deck without any problems. And then we can also cut and complete the deck. And now I can show to you that the deck is very well shuffled. All the cards are in a random, random order, okay? Now, we just need to divide the deck into piles of the same dimension, more or less. And okay, yes. And now we will ask the spectator to touch one of the two piles to get one pile for him and one pile for the performer. For example, the spectator can touch this pile. So this pile is for him and this pile is for the performer. The performer can shuffle his pile and also the spectator can shuffle this pile. Then we can lose the spectator's card in the middle of his pile and we can lose the spectator piles in the middle of the performer pile. And then we can also cut and complete. At this point, the Todd card is completely lost, buried in the deck. But we can get the mental impression of the Todd card. And we just need to run through the deck using the mental impression to retrieve the Todd card from the deck. Let's see. if we can perform this little miracle. I'm feeling something, something on this card. Yes. I think this is the thought card. And this is Think It, the thought card. And I can show to you that all the cards are completely different. This is a regular deck of cards. Think It.